What's going on everybody? Welcome back to yet another video. And it looks like the OnePlus 8T is getting a new update in the form of this 11.0.8.12. And let's have a look at this new update. And this change log is quite a big one. And it should be. After all, the last update made this device into a crappy one. And to be honest with you guys, given the past experience, don't install this update the moment you get it to be safe. And I'll try to share my observations after a couple of days after which you can decide if you should update to this one or not. Now to get this update on your device, well first of all check in the system updates in settings or download this application called Oxygen Updater from the Google Play Store. Now open the application and tap on that download update button and this will download the zip file of this update. And once it's done, simply go to settings, now go to system, choose system updates from the list and in here tap on this gear icon on the top right corner. Now choose the local upgrade option from the list and choose the zip file we just downloaded. So just hit that OK button and it will start installing the update. And don't worry, your data won't go anywhere. But if you are on Open Beta 2 and you switch over to the stable version, you will end up losing your data. And the same can be confirmed from this pop-up. So now we are on OxygenOS 11.0.8.12. Let's call it 11.0.12. And first of all, Let's have a look at the benchmark scores after this update. So on Geekbench, the device had a score of 894 in single core and 3217 in the multi core score. And after this update, the scores are 869 in single core and 3225 for the multi core score. So slightly higher score than the last version and that doesn't necessarily mean that the device will perform better. Now let's have a look at the changelog and first of all in the system part, we have the latest security patch of March 21, which will get old by the time you'll get this update, but it's good for now. Apart from that, we have many UI fixes in various apps. First of all, with this emergency icon application on the lock screen. After that, with the clock widget on the home screen for Arabic language users. Next, we have some fixes with the phones, but I don't know what they have fixed, as I can see this extra S in the battery stats, which is still kind of weird and similar is the case with the language issues here and there. So that has also been taken care of with this one. We also have a fix for the glitchy navigation gestures during charging and I personally faced this twice. But I got some complaints from you guys too so that seems fine as of now. Next we have the fixes with sound recorder and just in case the quality was bad for you it should work fine after this update and I even tried oneplus dialer and other apps and they work fine along with the auto call recording feature so in case you want those apps here is a card to that video after that the long screenshot feature was somewhat broken after the last update as i tried the same with the amazon application and it just refused to work so it works fine as of now lastly we have a couple of fixes with the double tapping on keyboard and most importantly that hey google detection on the lock screen which used to show that the application is offline in the past versions so as of now it is working fine but I'll be testing it out thoroughly in the next few days. In the camera part, well the version of the camera application has been bumped up to 5.8.23 and definitely there are some changes as per the changelog. The lag issue has been taken care of in the 4K 60fps playback just in case you were facing it. But the overall image quality is somewhat similar in other scenarios too. And even the front camera still overexposes the images sometimes, as it used to. And here are the samples on your screen. The bubble notifications are still not working perfectly for Telegram. Sometimes they work fine and sometimes they don't. And I'm not really sure if Telegram is at fault or OxygenOS 11 is. Because for the rest of the applications, they work just fine. As I tried with Signal and Google Messages application too. And one more thing, that Widevine L1 option is back now and finally can be seen in the DRM Info app. And that means you can stream in full HD on Netflix, Prime Video and other applications along with that HDR10 plus support. So that's really great. Finally about that battery drain and screen on time and I just have to say that the battery drain feels quite similar as of now, though a thorough check is required and I'll let you guys know about that in the full review. And that's it. These are all the changes in this new 11.0.12 update for the OnePlus 8T. So do like this video if it helps you out and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and I'll see you in the next one.
wonderful.